All right, so um, I've been reading a lot about these uh, LCR meters, but obviously I haven't read enough because I really don't understand how they work yet. Um, I've been reading a whole bunch of things from Roden Shorts and from TI, I mean from TI, from Keysight, from uh, TI actually had an app note, but anyway, um, from the old HP days. Um, and these four wire interfaces are not really what you expect them to be. There's something called all, an auto balancing bridge. And I haven't wrapped my head around what an auto balancing bridge is yet. But what I will say is that these diagrams of how the cables are to be wired is very confusing. So I had first made the assumption that these uh, BNC connectors were all referenced to ground. No, they're not. They're all floating. All right. And so the simplest thing to do is I've taken some braid and I've just shorted out all of the um, all of the outer BNC. So everything is uh, everything is all shorted together now. And um, there actually is a ground connection over here too that you can use. It doesn't seem to matter if you use it or not, but there is one there. All right. And the way these things work is it is still Kelvin. So you have two, a source and a sense and a source and a sense. And then, uh, and then you'll put the device between the two. Okay. When there's no device between the two, that's an open condition. If I hit the open, it actually will now complete the cal. Before it wasn't, but now it actually completed the cal. All right. And then a short condition is when they all have the same potential. All right. So I'll just take this uh, leaded part here and I'll just clip them all, all onto this leaded part and call that a short. Okay. So now they're all shorter together. And when I hit the short, it actually passes the cal. So it is doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. And then if I move the high side to or low, so this is the low side. If I move the low side over, it's actually measuring picofarad. So this is a, a 180 picofarad 0.3% accuracy. So if I go down in, uh, yeah, if I go down in frequency here, it's 179. Up in frequency here at 400 kilohertz, it's 179. So, yeah, this is, seems to be working okay now. Um, so, what it wasn't doing earlier was resistance very well. And so, let's try it out on some resistance. And the resistors are behind me, just a second. All right. So let me disconnect all of these and I'll get my resistors out and we will measure one of these and over here, go to all, all four of them. Oops. Come on. That's good enough. I hit resistance. Yeah, 100 ohms. Uh, now, it's not measuring really good because this really should be 100.0 something. That's a very, very accurate resistor, 0.01%. So, but it is in the ballpark now, which it wasn't really before. So, um, yeah, uh, it seems to be working much, much better. All right, so what would be the next step? Well, the next step, I think, would be to get some real cables for the device. And um, I have ordered two different things. I've ordered a set of cables that are supposedly LCR cables. And um, I've actually ordered a little box that goes on here that has the socket that you can plug the devices straight into. I think everybody's familiar with that one if you've seen one of these before. I've got one of those on order. And um, yeah. Let me show you, I have received the cables. So in fact, they're right down here, but I'll go over, uh, we'll look at these a little bit closer. So, so here are the cables uh, 
They are uh, Kelvin connections for four BNCs. They are labeled as LCR, blah, 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 blah. So uh, let's go take a look at those and I'll show you why there's something screwy going on. All right, so uh, here's a Keysight bridge. Um, let me go through the different ways you can wire this thing up. Uh, here's a, a suggestion. You have uh, four BNCs. They're, all the grounds are shorted together, and then you have source and sense coming out. So that's basically what I just demonstrated. And uh, so that's called a two-terminal configuration, 2T. All right. Then there's this situation here where you have some longer cables. All right. And this one looks the same. You've got four BNCs, they're all shorted together. And then you go out to some coaxes to go out to your test. Well, the shields of the coaxes are tied at the bottom here. That's called the three terminal, 3T configuration. All right. Then there's the shielded two terminal configuration, which is the same thing, except you tie the shields up back and you tie the shields up front. So that's the 2T configuration shielded. All right, then there is the uh, four terminal 4T configuration. And that is where you have this situation. And that's, this is exactly what I demonstrated. I'm sorry, this is exactly what I demonstrated. You have all of the BNCs tied together, all the grounds tied together, and then you have short little leads here going out to your part. So that's exactly what I just demonstrated. And that sh should work here between 10 millis and 10 Ks of impedance. All right, then there is the 5T configuration, five terminal configuration. And that one we have all of the NCs grounded, all of the shields grounded at this end, and then shields out to the connectors. All right. And then we have the four shielded T connections where we have ground shorted here, ground shorted here, and ground shorted here. So, all right, then <laughs> we're not done. Then there is the four terminal pair 4TP configuration. Now this is the best one. This one gives you the biggest range. This is supposedly the best thing you wanna do here. Um, you might notice over here that there's actually current flowing in the shields. And so that's why they float and there's separate measurements on each one of them. It's very confusing. I, like, I have not wrapped my head around it yet. Okay, so this is really what I want. I want floating BNCs and the shields float until they get out to the device and then they're all shorted out near the device. That's the type of cable that I want, okay? Okay, so here's the cable that I, that I purchased, okay? And it has uh, BNCs. Let me open one up here. Okay, so it has a, 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 a shield. A shield is soldered to the uh, connector. All right. And then the center conductor is shielded, is uh, connected to the center conductor. So uh, that's, that's really, really good. That means that this is just a regular BNC connection, shielded BNC connection, right? And then it goes out to the end, okay? And it goes out to the end, and uh, two, two of the BNCs run into this one connector. One of the center conductors goes to this side, and one of the center conductors goes to that side. So you have the Kelvin contact here. Great. But the shields are completely floating. Okay? So they're floating here, and they're floating here which guess what, is no configuration that I showed you anywhere. So this doesn't work. This will not work. Um, I did try this configuration where I shorted them all here and tried to use them in one of the configurations, which was, hmm, which configuration was that? Uh, it was basically this, this configuration where you have all the BNC shorted here and they go out to a long lead. That didn't work. That doesn't work with my machine. 
and maybe it was the range I was operating it under. It only seems to work for high impedances. It won't work for low impedances. So anyway, but I don't like that. That's not going to work for me. So I I'm going to try, <laughs> I'm going to try to make this cable assembly what I want. So what I need to do is I need to have these two connectors fairly close to one another and I need to short all of the braids together right here. Okay. And then, uh, and then I'll be able to use them in a, I don't know, 40, five, whatever those, that, the right configuration is where all of the grounds are. So what a lot of, well, anyway, uh, I'll stop there. So be wary of buying cables that say they're just LCR cables because maybe these work with some type of device, but they don't work with my device. And I encourage you to read the uh, document here. I'll see if I can remember to put a link down below, but there's a, uh, a document that just tells every single little nuance about measuring LC, uh, LCRs. Uh, it's very confusing, very complicated, math intensive. Uh, yeah, uh, there was a video done by the signal path that sort of hand waved the whole thing as well. And it went over my head. <laughs> uh, he talked about the auto balancing, auto balancing bridge. Um, and it just didn't make sense to me anyway. So I still need a whole bunch of learning to do to get this thing up and running.